Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sometimes you want to be able to copy a mask from one layer to another and there's no straightforward way of doing it but it can be done so let's look at uh, ways to do that. So let's start off, here's a picture of a boat on Brighton Beach and let's take the selection tool and let's kind of paint around it. We won't be too clever about this, we'll just make sure we get the boat in and knock out any extra stuff that turns up here. So dear, it's gone far too much there. So let's alt and alt paint around here to deselect that and paint that back in again. Selection's often like this, in and out, in and out. A uh, little bit of patience is all that's needed. There we go. Overall, it is a rather good tool. Yeah, how long will this take to do with a click to click to click to click point to point? There we go. So that's good enough just to show this. Suppose now, say, let's um, put in some curves. And uh, the when I select a uh, adjustment like this, as you can see, sort of outlined on that, it, you know, in the icon there, it has actually created a mask automatically. So I can hit Control D and get rid of the marching ants to lose the selection. Now uh, I can play with this and it will only apply to that. So we darken down the boat a bit. That's OK. So I might be happy there. Um, but I might think, well, what if I'd like to colour it up a little bit, for example. So I select the background layer again and I'll go down and say, let's just use Channel Mixer for a, just for an example. And say I turned up just for the red here a bit and put things into it. Yeah, and I'll just say I'd like to have that. And that's OK there. But no, what I want is I only want this applied to the boat, not to everything else around here. So I want to copy the mask from the curves onto the channel mixer. Well, the way to do that, first of all, we want to get the selection back. So the way to do this is Control Shift and click on the mask on the icon of the curves adjustment there. And you can see here the marching ants have reappeared. Now I want to get them onto this. So if I Alt click on the icon of the channel mixer there, then this brings up the mask, which is currently just white, so it applies everywhere, but it does show where the selection is uh, because selection can be seen on all layers. So I would like to paint black on here around the outside of this, not on the inside, so I need to invert the selection. So I go Select, Invert pixel selection. So now it selects the outside. So now I can hit, hit the flood fill tool, make sure I get black as my foreground colour and then click on here. And, and then there we go, it's put that black around there. So I can hit Control D to get rid of the selection now. And if I look on here, now that redness, yeah, it is a bit red, isn't it, is only applied just to the boat. So in other words, I have copied the um, mask from here to here. It doesn't always show in here for the moment. I think it might take time updating it, but it is there clearly. And I can alt click and yeah, it's still there. So there we go. That's a way of copying from one to the other. Another way of doing it is just go back a little bit. So I'm just going to go back here. Um, so let's go, there we go, manual channel mixer, there we go. So we've got as far as here where you want to copy this from here to here. And a way to do that now is to use channels. So this is just an alternative approach. We've already shown how to do this. And so what I do here is on this curves adjustment alpha here, I go create spare channel. And spare channel is a way of selecting or of saving a selection. So if I click on the channel mixer adjustment now, right click on the spare channel, I can say, look, load to channel mixer adjustment alpha. And look what happens. There we go. So that's another way of doing it, possibly slightly quicker. 
but it's the same effect we have copied a mask from one to another there you go hope you like that it's a very handy thing to use every now and again and thank you very much for watching